Welcome back. Once again, you're watching Ozarks Tonight. I'm glad you're here, and I'm David Oliver. We've talked here on the broadcast uh, several times before about the Give Five program locally. It helps retired folks get active with nonprofits here in the Springfield community. Well, now there's some new research that suggests that Give Five is helping to contribute to successful aging here in the Ozarks. I'm joined, as always, by Greg Burris, who's the director of the Give Five program here in Springfield, and Dr. Dr. Gloria Galenas, who is a retired professor, professor emeritus, if you will, from Missouri State, she conducted this research we're going to be talking about. Thank you both for being here. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Before we talk about Give Five, let's talk about this research because, mm -hmm. well, actually, no, let's talk about Give Five first. Let's remind our viewers, as I just mentioned, okay. this gets retired people active with nonprofits in our community. Right. It's, we call it civic matchmaking, right. and it really is just a matter of exposing uh, retired seniors to their own community. Mm -hmm. And then 23 different volunteer opportunities in our community, and they find what you know sort of matches well to their needs and their skills. Mm -hmm. And from that, uh, usually a connection is made, or maybe multiple connections. And it has an impact on the individual. It has an impact on the nonprofit. It has an impact on the community. This was born with the idea, in part, because a lot of baby boomers are retiring with a lot of knowledge. They have a lot of mm -hmm. knowledge that's, that's going to go away, and so this is kind of putting some of their knowledge back out there and back to good use. 10,000 baby boomers turning 65 every day for 19 years. Yeah. <laughs> and if you stop and think about that number, and that's just in the United States, and it's actually uh, happening all over. In fact, by 2030 in Japan, one in every three person in, in Japan will be 65 or older. Wow. And so it's happening everywhere, but you know, this is a first of its kind uh, program, and we think this is a great opportunity to re-engage that population. And you just started class 10, right? Just we're in the middle of class 10 right now. Okay, that's a lot of classes yeah. that have been doing with this program since it started. What year was it again? Uh, about a year and a half ago. Year and a half, so it's a lot, not, yeah, that's not it's, very old. It's young. But uh, Dr. Galanis, we've got some research now we do. that shows this program is having some positive effects in terms of getting people active and helping them age successfully. Talk about your research. And I want to give a shout out to Dr. Bradley Fisher, who is the former director of the gerontology program at Missouri State and has several publications that talk about successful aging. The volunteer program, uh, the volunteer opportunities for Give Five are directly related to successful aging. One of the most important things that seniors need to feel, and, and I'm really glad that you mentioned that the retirees have a lot to contribute mm -hmm. because they represent a tremendous resource to our community, not just material, mm -hmm. but in terms of expertise and information. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that is most important for successful aging is is having a sense of purpose. And that was the number one thing that came out in the research that we did. We submitted a survey um, to the first five classes of Give Five. It was an electronic survey, got the results back and, and took a look at them. And overwhelmingly, this is a positive program and the participants believe that they uh, were helped to age successfully as a result of the Give Five program. So it's been positive all the way around. Well, just I looked over some of the executive summary, if you will, of the mm -hmm. research, and, and, and the thing that stood out to me, 80% of the people involved in Give Five were still volunteering at least six months after the program was over, giving an average of 17 hours per month to one or more agencies. Um, and an estimation that was, it's about $300,000 in a time value to local nonprofits. And so, so to it's see tremendous. that many people still volunteering, obviously Obviously, this is sinking in with people. And Give Five, the name Give Five comes from give us five hours a month. Well, clearly, they're giving almost mm -hmm. five hours a week mm -hmm. to that. So it's a tremendous resource for the community. Were you surprised by some of these results? Let's talk about some of the Not other really. ones you saw. You weren't, you weren't surprised? <laughs> I really wasn't. Okay. Uh, I thought the second most important thing for successful aging is having positive personal interactions. And the Give Five program is set up to facilitate that. Yeah. And it really helps the retirees who are part of that program get to know one another, get to know the community. I was a little bit surprised by the results that indicated that the Give Five program taught people information about the community that they had not known. Mm -hmm. Even though they may have lived here all their lives, they don't know what some of the issues and some of the problems are here in Springfield. And that is very true. That is very mm -hmm. true. I serve on a board, a local nonprofit mm -hmm. board, and we saw some study results recently that kind of blew my mind in terms of what people, uh, what they perceive mm -hmm. are issues in our community. And I won't mm -hmm. go into the specifics, but I was I was surprised. And so I'm, I, I guess mm -hmm. your research kind of mirrored that too. Yes, I was surprised by that too. But they did say that they learned a lot about the community and they 
learned how the nonprofits that the program puts them in touch with, how those nonprofits are addressing some of the biggest issues, and they're related to poverty and so forth in Springfield and the results of effects of poverty. You've got to feel pretty good about this, Greg, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. I mean, anytime you, you have a program that can move the needle on empathy, trust, and community ownership, right. which the study says, you know, we scored high in all those areas. Um, putting on my former hat as city manager, if you can tell me I can move the needle on those three things, mm -hmm. then what you've got is that's a winner. Yeah, and we've talked about this before, about other communities around our region have reached out to kind of say, hey, how does this Give Five thing yeah. work? Mm -hmm. Where are we with that? Is it, is it rolling out perhaps to other areas at this point? It is. We're in the process of rolling it out in Clayton, uh, Missouri right okay. now, where WashU is. Uh, Columbia, Missouri may be next. Okay. Uh, we got a call today from Minneapolis. Uh, we're talking wow. to a variety variety of communities around the country and so it's not localized to Missouri anymore it's now uh, communities all over the country I would have to imagine that the nonprofits have got to be really happy with this because if, if we've got 80 percent of people still volunteering mm -hmm. after the program is said and done that, that's a pretty high number and yeah. actually uh, let me mention that our we've got two next steps in that and one of those next steps is to talk to the nonprofit organizations themselves to find out how they experience give five and how that has impacted their ability to do their work. The second uh, next step is that we're going to be interviewing. Some of this research produced some interesting questions for us. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to be doing some interviews uh, uh, with Lisa Hall, who is the current director of the gerontology program, with some of the participants who took okay. this survey to find out a little bit more detail sure. about their experiences. So more good things to come. More good Greg, to come. how can folks get more information on, on, on GIF5 if they would like to get involved? SGF Give sgfgive5.org sgfgive5.org it's right there at the bottom of your screen right now you can go there for more information my question though dr galenis is you're retired. Have you done this, or are you going to do it? This is my this is my volunteer thing. This, this, is, is, this is it. This okay. is my give five. This is and your it give took five. took a lot more than five hours. It did. <laughs> I bet it did. I bet it did. Greg and Dr. Galenis, uh, Gloria, thank you so much for thank being you so here. Much. It's good. It's good to see that this program is uh, having positive results in our community. We'll have more Ozarks tonight after this quick break.